That's a scene from the electrical life of Louis Wayne based on the real life uh, story of an artist. Can you tell us a little bit about him? Yeah, Louis Wayne was a, an extraordinary human being. Um, he was an illustrator, a very talented artist, and that was his chief skill. He also, as a young man, fancied himself as a boxer and an inventor and a, a, an opera music writer and all sorts of things that he wasn't particularly good at, but he was chiefly incredibly skilled at drawing and painting. And he could do it at great speed in the days before photography. So he started out recording everything from uh, events, boxing matches, as you saw there, to uh, prize bulls at um, mar farmer markets and all sorts of animals. And then he really became very famous for drawing and painting cats and a very particular cat style, uh, which developed throughout his entire life. And um, he was incredibly well known, very popular and utterly broke. He had to um, earn money for his... Uh, huge family of sisters he was ostracized from them and society at large because he fell in love with their governess he was 10 years older than played by um Hinn, rather played by claire foy in the film and that was seen as a disgrace both uh, as far as going down in class but also the age difference and he was exiled and when his wife tragically becomes ill they befriended a cat called peter and they took it in mm and had him as a pet. Now, this is in the era where cats were one up from the vermin they were used to catch. And, uh, you know, the expression, drowning a bag of kittens, unfortunately, wasn't just an expression. Yeah. So he kind of historically popularised and domesticated the cat, really. Um, and in amongst that lived this very extraordinary life. Someone who struggled with mental health, was a brilliant artist, like I said, and um, showed great courage and determination in a life that he found and which was at times very, very challenging and difficult for him.